A big welcome to everyone and today I am documenting a story about the many faces of chess. My son is playing a game of chess with his granny and the expression on his face is absolutely priceless. I don't know if granny was letting him win or if he can't believe the moves she's making or maybe she's cheating. I really can't remember the story behind the photos and that's what's great about just sometimes just taking photos and, and not worrying about it because when you look back on it, like I'm looking back on these photos and honestly, I don't remember taking them, but I'm so glad they, that I did because they are just so funny and the expressions on his faces, like I said, it's absolutely priceless. He doesn't, he looks like he's a absolute master pro at chess, which believe me, he's not, but um, very, very funny, funny photos. So for this layout, I looked through my stash and I have absolutely nothing about chess. No ephemera, no paper, no nothing. So I originally was going to start off with just a normal background paper that I found that was black and white. And then it dawned on me, do a chess board. So I got out some black card stock and I'm going to cut out all these one and a half inch squares and I'm going to make my own chessboard and I admit I absolutely love how this layout turned out. I will confess it took me about 20 minutes to make my chessboard by the time I cut out all the little pieces and then glued all the pieces onto the white card stock but it looks if I may say so myself absolutely amazing. And voila, all my little black squares are glued right down onto my white cardstock. I am so proud of my little chessboard. So the next thing was to work on my photos and it was going to be a little bit hard to make the photos stand out from all this black and white. So what I did was I matted my photos with some black cardstock and I used my favourite perfect layers ruler and I did a one6 millimeter mat all around. I will be making a second mat on my photos and this time I will be using some red patterned paper from my stash and I once again will be using my perfect layers ruler to do a 4.8 millimeter mat all around. You know you can only be precise like that with a perfect layers ruler and I must admit this is one of my favorite tools for matching my photos. This process video is going to be nice and short as there really wasn't a lot of work that went into this layout. The most time consuming aspect of it as I said earlier was making the chessboard. I love how that red mat helps the photos pop from that very busy background. I love my silhouette machine, especially in times like this where I want to document a story but I have no ephemera that actually helps me with my storytelling. And this time round, there was nothing in my stash that screamed out chess. So I went to the silhouette store, I type in chess and there were these gorgeous chess pieces. So I paid my 59 cents, downloaded it and I cut out all the pieces onto some black and white patterned paper. The title for this page is going to be The Many Faces of Chess be because of the expressions on my son's face. I just thought it was very appropriate. And here is where I ran into a problem. I went to my stash of thickers and I had no red thickers and I thought, oh well, I'll look for blue. I had no blue thickers. But being ever resourceful, I decided, well, you know what? I love these silver thickers and I'm going to make them blue. So I went to my mixed media drawer and I looked to see what I had. And there in blue was this gorgeous Nouveau Expanded Mousse. So I took a paintbrush and I started to colour in the letters that I needed. So please, don't be afraid to experiment with your products. If something's not working for you, change it. You will be surprised with what you can achieve. So there you go, a very sweet, short video for you. I hope you like it and if you haven't done so already I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I am trying to grow it and till next time. Happy New Year everyone!
I'm sure that by the time you see me next time, it will be 2020. Wow, so hard to believe. Where is the time going? But anyway, enjoy the close-ups and thank you all for, for all your comments. Thank you all for all your support. I truly appreciate it. And even though 2019 was a bit of a tough year for a lot of us, Let's all look forward to a bright and happy 2020. Let's all stay positive. Let's all get crafty and let's all spend time with the people that we love. Bye everyone and till next time. See you.